Hey guys, once again, welcome to Hate Heart Tech Reviews, and I'm saying once again because I've already filmed this video before, but right when I was ending it, my camera corrupted the data. <sighs> again. Alright, so what I did on the previous video, I guess you can say, that's not up, that's actually across my room because I threw the disc. Uh, what I did was I went ahead, went on my computer and reformatted a laptop disk by of course taking it out of the laptop it happened to have the same SATA uh, interface of course than a desktop drive would I just go ahead connect it uh, via SATA cable and SATA power I go ahead and go down disk manager and reformat the drive and I did that because while I was on the laptop which I did show before I did all this um, I showed that Windows was corrupt because it did not want to boot up Windows at all. It would keep saying that I had to reconfigure it. I just didn't feel like reconfiguring Windows 7. So thank goodness I have Windows 8 on this USB here. And I'll kind of show you guys right now hands on because I stopped it before I went any farther by installing it. I'll show you guys installing Windows 8 onto a laptop. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so redoing this again, uh, let me show you guys. I have to go ahead and plug in this extra keyboard because the F12 on this does not want to start up the little sequence that it does, so I have to press F12 on this. Let me just plug in the USB. Wow, I can never I can never get the USB right on the first try. Okay. Let's turn this laptop on. Let me just press F12 like a maniac because that's how that's how I do. As you can see, Kingston Data Traveler, and this is the little drive that we reformatted. And it says IDE, but it's SATA. I don't know what that means, really. And look, RAM. Okay, anyway, we can go ahead, go on the USB, press any key, I press any key already. There we go. And there is the Windows logo. Alright, so when Windows starts up, I'm going to go ahead and install it off camera. And I'll show you guys when it's done. But let's go ahead and see if Windows even starts up the second time. Maybe I just got lucky the first time. Windows. Alright, so Windows works fine. I'm going to go ahead and start installing, and while well, you guys just sit there and wait. Alright, so it just restarted, so let's see if it worked out. I had to install a another mouse. Let me just pan around here. Let's see the mouse. I had to install that mouse just because the touchpad wasn't working on the setup. Let's see if this actually works. Alright guys, so at this point I'm installing uh, updates for Windows 8. I'm going to be doing some drivers for the laptop. I don't really know what to put for drivers, but I'm going to figure it out. So since this is going to take a, a long time, I think I'm just going to go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you think about my video. And if you guys have ever done something like this, just let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys have done. Alright guys, see you in the next one.